love of your fellow man is what will motivate you to do things that some think are impossible to achieve. Calling someone a hero has become almost commonplace. So common, in fact, that sometimes it's hard to remember what a true hero really looks like. If you need reminding, look no further than this Hoosier veteran, Medal of Honor recipient, Sergeant Sammy L. Davis. I didn't swim across that river because I'm big, bad, and brave. I swim across that river because I love my brothers. Sergeant Davis became a hero in March of 1967 when his artillery unit came under attack by an estimated 1,500 North Vietnamese regulars. He was wounded when his howitzer was struck by an enemy rocket and then again by friendly fire. Davis still single-handedly manned the big gun himself, firing all his shells until he heard a voice coming from across a nearby canal. Hey, don't shoot, I'm a GI. Somebody's got to go get him. Well. I was the only, only I, at that point, I didn't know who was alive, who was dead. I knew I had to go get him. So I asked the one above to give me the strength to swim across the river and get my brother. Using a damaged air mattress and despite his severe wounds, Davis swam that canal not once, but three times to save three wounded soldiers, taking enemy fire and at times defending himself hand to hand with just a stick. What was your motivation? What was going through your mind? And, and you, you say that it's pretty simple. Yes, sir. Love. That's, I had to do it because I loved those, those men. Sergeant Davis received the Medal of Honor from President Lyndon Johnson. And if this ceremony looks vaguely familiar, it's because you've seen it before. America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. Davis's heroism became the inspiration for the movie Forrest Gump. So much so, the filmmakers used the actual footage of Davis's ceremony and superimposed Tom Hanks's face on his head. He's been known ever since as the real Forrest Gump. What Forrest did in the movie is based on my actual citation. I th thought they'd put Tom's head, and my mama said, no, Sammy Lee, those are your knobs on the back of your head. And she was right. They, they just put Tom's face. This is all unique stuff that's part of my life. In the many years since his retirement, Sergeant Sammy Davis has traveled the world in support of America's veterans with a simple message of duty we can all live by. I try to encourage America to stand up for what you believe is right in your heart. And I try very hard not to get into individual politics. I want you to stand up for what you believe is right. The man called the real Forrest Gump learned to play the harmonica in Vietnam. It was reassuring to his comrades then and somehow fitting now for a Hoosier who became a true American hero. You don't lose till you quit trying. And the reason why I'm still here today is because my job isn't done yet. Sergeant Davis embraces his connection to Forrest Gump, but he's also quick to share his military honor with his comrades. He says if he was deserving of the Medal of Honor, so too were all the soldiers who fought so bravely that day so long ago in Vietnam. You can learn all about the man they call the real Forrest Gump and see more of our Veterans Voices coverage by visiting our website at cbs4indy.com and clicking on the Veterans Voices section. Our thanks to the Indiana War yeah. Memorial mm -hmm. for hosting our interview. Mm -hmm. They have a whole display there on Sergeant Sammy Davis. Really, it's worth the visit Absolutely. to go down and, and learn more about really yeah. a true hero. Absolutely. Yeah. If you ever mm -hmm. get a chance to meet him, you'll, and around other soldiers, he is like a you star. You traveled overseas oh, yeah. with him. I, yeah, I was oh, with yeah. him in Bosnia, and he, mm -hmm. he just generates energy. He's a wonderful guy.